This video is sponsored by Shop Bismo. It'd be great if you could check out their Shopee page. Link in the description box below. All right, everyone. Welcome to today's charting session. Sa mga hindi pa po nakakaalam, what we do here is we typically look at either yung mga trending names, and by that, I mean yung mga pangalan na maaaring malaki yung ginalaw, whether to the upside or to the downside, or perhaps malaki yung value traded, or generally speaking, mas minamatahan lang po ng mga tao. Also, tumatanggap din po tayo ng mga chart requests. So kung meron po kayong mga requests, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. So let's start off with PXP. No? Now the prices of oil have been skyrocketing like we discussed dun sa Grand Periodicals natin over the weekend. And so far, nag-reflect naman siya dito sa chart natin for PXP and APX. No? We're not gonna review APX today. However, we are gonna review PXP. Now, what has happened? So essentially, di ba, nag-break out tayo uh, sa candle na to. Okay? Tapos, we pushed higher. Nag-form tayo ng resistance around 7.09. Lagay na lang natin sa 7 pesos para lang mas madaling maalala, no? Nag-form tayo ng resistance around 7. Then, we rolled over from there. Binalikan natin where we broke out from. Diba? nag range tayo sa area na to. Ito yung mga nag act as resistance previously. So, when we broke out, came back. Diyan din tayo nakahanap ng support. And then, we bounced from there and bumalik tayo dito sa 6.70 plus na area. Bakit importante yung 6.70 plus na area? Kasi if you look at it to the left, diba, it acted as a decent inflection zone. Meaning, it acted as both support and resistance along the way. no? So, hindi naagulat na nagkaroon tayo ng reaction sa area na yan. Now, since nag-move na yung swing high dito, technically, pwede na nating alisin tong 6.72 na level. However, since we haven't reviewed PXP in a while, I decided to just put it in para lang masama natin siya sa discussion natin and moving forward, mas clear lang yung mga levels kahit magkaroon tayo ng adjustments along the way. Okay? Now, bumalik yung price after we bounce, bumalik tayo dito sa 6.72. So, dapat ang gusto nating makita ay magpatuloy yung bullishness niya, balikan niya tong 7 pesos na area, and if mabasag natin yan, that should open up this area above from 7 pesos hanggang mga 7.6, 7.7. Okay? However, let's say na short-lived tong bounce na to, tumalbog tayo, tas hindi kinaya, nauntog dyan, rolled over, we break beneath tong 6 pesos na uh, low natin. Number one, pwede pa rin naman mag-hold tong area na to, kaya napaka-tricky maghanap ng stop sa mga ganitong types of uh, movement, eh, no? Pwede pa rin naman mag-bounce yan. However, I would argue na yung overall na itsura ng structure na malamang tinitrade ng mga tao. Meaning, kaya naman siya trinade kasi number one, yun nga, uh, possible proxy for oil play. Number two, nagkaroon tayo ng breakout from this range. So kung bumalik tayo all the way there, then dapat, in theory, from a technical standpoint, uh, nasira na yung plano. Nasira na yung overall thesis. So because of that, kahit na possible pa nang mag-bounce dito, then baka may iba na mag-early exit na, di ba? Kasi kaysa na lumala pa yung sitwasyon, baka mabasag, and so on. If mag-pull back tayo dyan, mag-hold to, tumuloy pa taas, di iba usapan. Pero kung mabasag dito sa may 5.5, then this will likely dig deeper and panibagong sakit ng ulo na naman. Bagong price exploration, bagong 52-week low, uh, bagong hintay for structure to develop. So hopefully from here, as we consolidate, yung next move nito is to simply push higher. Again, if we can break tong 7 pesos to 7.10, our next target will be around 7.6 to 7.7. Then kung mabasag pa tito, we might come back and seek out tong mga highs na naiwan from before all the way up hanggang around 8.9. Okay? So dito naman sa SPNEC, uh, price has finally pushed down a little bit, no? meaning uh, we have tried to consolidate in this area after we got up because of yung balita nga with the whole asset for share swap thing. And then nadamay na rin siya sa bearishness ng market overall as price has pushed down and binalikan natin yung support natin dito around 1.98, 1.992 pesos na area. Okay? Now, bakit tayo may support level dyan? Again, it's a good inflection point. It acted as support before and resistance here. 
So, it wouldn't be too surprising na if price did pull back there, na makahanap tayo ng some type of reaction. However, in this particular instance, what I would personally be looking for is number one, mafifill ba natin tong gap na nabuo? Okay, kasi when we say gap, remember, dito yung close nyan eh. Diba? Hindi naman to eh. That's not where the gap fills. This is where the gap began. Dito tayo nag-close eh. So, can we fill this gap? Okay, all the way down hanggang dito sa 1.80 plus na level. And if so, let's say na ma-fill nga natin tong gap na to. Ano yung mangyayari next? Kunyari ba nag-fill, tutuloy lang ba siya? Kung tumuloy, nabasag tong low na to, around 1.70 something, then the next na pwede nating makita as a possible support level is around 1.67 or para lang mas broad and mas all-encompassing, mga around 1.6 to 1.67 na area. Diba? However, let's say na mag-gap fill tayo at magkaroon tayo na reaction to the upside, what we want to see is mag-take back sooner rather than later tong 2 pesos, mag-trade above it so we can start pushing higher again. Essentially, parang nag-weird lang siya na inverted head and shoulders na pattern kung nangyari yun, no? Possible na ganun yung mabuo. Okay? Siyempre, the other thing that most people who are holding SP neck want to see is mag-range na lang tayo dito. Sige, fine. Bumalik ka ng support. O, dyan ka na lang, ha? Hold na tayo. Mag-range tayo. Then from there, kung mag-range nga, we want to see price start pushing higher sooner rather than later as more details and more news comes out uh, regarding yung SRO, uh, assets for share swap, and so on. However, um, personally, wala ako expectation either way. I just want to see what price does and I have a plan on what to do if price does X or if pr price does Y and so on. No, uh, I found na yun yung pinaka-stress-free way to approach the market kaysa na ipipilit mo yung gusto mo, basta may plano tayo, di ba? Nag-trigger yung plano natin, we execute, and then whatever the market does after, meron tayong plano either way, whether positive or negative. Okay? Despite the bloodbath, no, PHR has continued to stay strong. Okay, surprisingly, uh, with this candle here, tong malaking red candle. Personally, my expectation was magpupul back tayo. Uh, bumalik man lang sana around etong 1.03 to 97 cents na area somewhere here, no. Pero hindi nangyari yon. After that, uh, nagkaroon tayo ng candle na to where we tried to push higher, nabitin lang konte, nagkonso sandale, then bang, nagbreak tayo above nitong high na na form dito. Today, we try to push down and once again, diba, dumaban and we close still above etong previous area where we broke out from and etong kung saan tayo nag-close dito. Now, um, kung nakasakay kayo dito sa PHR, syempre, congratulations, no? Uh, be sure lang to trail your stops accordingly para kung mangyari man yung ayaw natin makita or ayaw natin mangyari, ay hindi po natin maibabalik sa markado ang karamihan ng kinita natin. Diba? But what can we expect from here? So, bullish scenario, possible na mag-consolidate muna tayo around this area, even all the way hanggang 1.48. Tapos, if mabasag tong 1.48 na level, then yung next na area na tinitingnan natin will be a little tighter between 1.41, hang ay 1.48 hanggang 1.61. However, if from here we roll over, we break beneath tong low na to, so, itong low na to is 1.11. No? If we break beneath 1.11, test it from underneath, mag-hold or roll over, then that could be an early signal indicating na baka tapos na yung move. Okay? Kasi medyo malalim na dip yun. Kumbaga matinding reversal. Medyo V-shape yung itsura kung nagkataon. So, kailangan medyo nag-iingat na tayo kung ganon. Right now, it's still looking a little bullish, no? Um, so hopefully, tuloy-tuloy na diba? Lalo na para doon sa mga may hawak uh, Kung wala pa kayong hawak Tasa habol pa lang kayo Again, konting ingat lang Because you need to realize yung risk-reward pa rin eh. diba? uh, People tend to always just think na oh, Sige, tataas to, bibili ako Pero hanggang saan? Hanggang saan yung realistic? So alam ko na may level ako dito sa 1.48 So between 1.35 to 1.48 I'm looking at a possible 13 cents gain No? Uh, pero where would my stop go? Again, I would argue na at least beneath dito ng 1.11. So I would be risking 24 cents to make 18 cents. So that just doesn't make a lot of, well, sense. Diba? Kasi 
hindi maganda yung risk reward eh. Kung kanina nakabili kayo sa pullback tas tumuloy, di syempre tuloy lang yung trade. But again, for me personally, konting ingat lang. Pag po nating piliting humabol. Okay? Okay lang maiwan, wag lang po maipit, di ba? So konting ingat lang. Pero yun yung mga bullish and bearish scenarios natin na tinitingnan ko dito for PHR. So far, mukhang okay pa. But again, konting ingat din sa mga ganitong dire-diretso lang. It looks strong. But as we've seen uh, numerous times in the past, usually kapag yung ganyan, biglang nakain, mabilis ding nababawi. Next, itong 80 naman po yung tingnan natin. So you might remember uh, one of, uh, in the past when we discussed this, I was talking about to yung swing low na binawe, di ba? Parang we traded beneath these lows but closed above it. Tapos price broke up, uh, not broke up, but moved higher, then came back, tagged this area more or less. Then we started pushing higher from there. Diba? Uh, a lot of my students and um, people who have charted with me sa Discord or wherever, Al alam nyo, earlier this year, I was saying na parang ganda ng chart nitong 80. Ah. Okay? Now, personally, I wasn't able to trade the entire move, but I was able to trade it somewhat, no? Now, that being said, where we are right now, first, congratulations sa mga may hawak. Please, 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 trail your stops accordingly. Hindi natural yung ganitong ilang straight green candles sa sunod-sunod lang na malakas, no? Again, kapag ito kumambyo, odds are malakas din yung pagbawi. So, konting ingat lang po. Be sure to maintain your discipline. Huwag po sobrang greedy. Okay? Maintain lang po yung plano natin. Sundan lang ang lahat at huwag pong ipilit. Kung hahabol pa lang, konting ingat lang po. Again, alanganin maglagay ng stop loss dito sa area na to because of this one big move. Personally, kahit na hanapin natin yung swing low, either dito or dito, ang layo na po niyan. So, maybe start focusing on other uh, issues na lang. Diba? Eventually, iikot din naman yung pera. So, kaysa napilitin natin, tapos maipit tayo, let's be smart and start thinking of where the money could uh, cycle into kung sakali man hindi kayo nakasakay sa move na to. Alright? Now, from here, yung next na level of resistance sa tinitingnan natin is 85 cents. Ay, sorry, 8.85 cents. Okay? Etong previous resistance natin, yung current support natin yun, around 7.9 more or less na area. Again, ang dami nating mga unfilled gaps no from before. Okay, may gap din tayo dito. Now, what we don't want to see is for price to pulse, uh, push back down ng ganito rin kalakas. Now, I'm not gonna detail yung scenario na, ah, kapag mumaba to, test dito, ganyan, tas ganun. Hindi eh. Usually, kapag ganitong maraming sunod-sunod na candle, parang ganito, tinan nyo. Uh, hindi siya ganun ka tawag ito? hindi siya ganun ka outright na okay, pag bumaba dito, balik sa ganitong level, roll over, hindi eh. So we had the strong move here, eventually nung nakain siya, mabilis din, di ba? Mabilis din. So ganun din ang pwedeng mangyari dito. Kung sakali man bigla tong kumambyo, baka mabilis din yung pagbabag, pagbaba natin, balikan natin tong previous area of consolidation here. Okay? We don't know. Okay? But for now, as a tentative level, I really don't want to see price trade below tong 7.5 na. Gap fill or no gap fill. Bakit? Kasi ito yung strong level natin na nag-act as resistance prior. Eh. Even if we look to the left, it has acted as support, resistance. It's not exact but the general area is there, di ba? Acted as support and so on. So I really don't want to see price trade below 7.5. However, I'm almost certain na karamihan ng mga trail stops nyo hindi naaabot dyan regardless of what system you do use. Okay? But if you're just using purely naked charts and candles, I really don't want to see price trade beneath 7.5 anymore. Kasi yun nga, maaaring mag-accelerate siya bigla to the downside. Tapos before you know it, wala, mahuli taya. Okay? So, konting ingat lang po. Now, ideally, what we want to see from here aside from yun nga na mag-push siya towards this uh, resistance level is sana magpahinga muna siya ng konti. Buelo muna ulit. Buelo muna ulit para once tumaas, meron tayong pundasyon na pwedeng sandalan. Hindi yung ganito. Alright? But for now, again, congratulations sa mga holders. Diba? Uh, just make sure ha, na hindi po natin ibabalik sa merkado ang karamihan ng kinita natin. And then finally, tignan po natin ang oldie, no? 
So tong all di nag-carve out na naman tayo ng bagong low. We broke beneath yung lows natin previously at 49 and we closed today at 48 cents, no? Uh, I don't think I need to tell you na it's not looking good. Now, uh, pwede tayong maglagay ng level dito sa 49 cents but for me, again, I want to see structure develop. Uh, walang sense na maging impatient lalo na ganitong nagka-price exploration naman to the downside. I would rather wait for further structure to develop before making up uh, my mind na okay, ito na yung level dapat nandito na or so on. Bullish scenario natin dito, what I want to see first and foremost is at the very least from now, ma-reclaim man lang tong 52 cents. Something like this. Move up, retest ng 52. Tapos mag-hold dyan. Kung mangyari yon, then yung next level na tinitingnan natin will be 56 cents. And if we can break higher from 56, then baka mabalikan natin yung IPO price at 60. No? Then from there, we can reassess. Okay? Uh, for me, yun yung parang pinaka-trigger mo na, okay, sige, baka may nagbabago. Anything prior to that could just simply be a quick bounce play. Okay? What we don't want to see, kung bullish tayo ng oldie, syempre, from here, is wala nang konso-konso pa, wala nang uh, pag-form ng kung ano mang structure, is tumuloy lang. Basagin na naman yung low natin ng today at 47, then mag-new low na naman, parang mag ganitong type of candle, yung ganitong type of move. Yan yung ayaw natin makita to the downside if you're bullish ng oldie, no? Um, unfortunately, as much as Gusto ko siyempre magsabi ng more positive things. There's really not much else to say about all the Okay, kung may hawak kayo nito and you're waiting for a potential reversal, then you might be in for a longer wait than you initially anticipated, no? Kung wala naman kayong hawak and you're looking to see kailan kayo pwede bumili, again, uh, I would like to suggest counting caution and mag-exercise lang ng patience and maghintay hanggang either mag-trigger to sa kung anumang system na gamit nyo or magkaroon ng change talaga sa structure na very noticeable before we go jumping back in. So guys, dito po nagtatapos yung video natin. No? I hope nakatulong po to sa inyo kahit konti and may natutunan kayo kahit papano. And if so, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. And as always guys, maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. I really really appreciate it. Good luck and happy trading!